If you didn't know, Zoom fully integrates with OneDrive and SharePoint. Patrick, I've known this already. You've told us for years. You've done tons of demos on the extensive integration between OneDrive and SharePoint and Zoom. What could possibly be new that you could tell us today? Just wait. Okay, here's my Zoom client. You can see that there are two participants in here. There's certainly Patrick Kelly as myself, but there's also Patrick Kelly as a personal account on the other side of the office. I'm gonna share a OneDrive file inside the meeting. And I'm gonna show it to you in collaboration mode. Watch this new feature. So we're gonna go down here and share. This is nothing new. You're like, hey, I'm gonna go to documents, share a OneDrive document. We have full integration, as I've said many times. Now we're gonna share this file. Now we're gonna go down here. We're gonna share a simple PowerPoint file that I created for Zoomtopia last year. Click that, and then we're gonna hit select. Now look at this new screen you probably haven't seen before. On the right, this is nothing new. I can just share the screen, and everybody in the meeting sees my PowerPoint file. But the most important new feature is this collaboration mode now that we have with OneDrive and SharePoint. I'm gonna now enter collaboration mode, which then grants editing access to every participant in the meeting. Why do I need that? I'll show you. So I hit collaborate. So now you're looking at the PowerPoint slide that I'm sharing in the Zoom meeting, but let's go to the other computer and see if we see something different this time. So now we're on the other computer and you can clearly see there's something new. Look at the top right-hand corner. It says collaboration in progress. And it says your email address, which is my personal email address, has been granted edit access to this document. Select yes to join the collaboration mode. That sounds fun, let's do that. Now, once I hit join, it launches the PowerPoint deck that was shared to me by the other account. Look what's happening right here. If you look up here, you can see that Patrick Kelly is in this document already. Obviously he is because he just shared it with me. I now have editing rights to this document. What? I can edit the document right from the Zoom meeting? Pretty cool. So now back on my screen, we've allowed the other participant to join the PowerPoint presentation. You can clearly see that the other user's there because look, I see his name and see the items he's highlighting. Now we're back on my original computer where we're actually sharing the PowerPoint file. But remember, see you buff so my, my personal account join the PowerPoint slide presentation in collaboration mode. Would you look at what I see now? I can see CU Buff is right here in editing mode. And I can even see where he's editing because it's highlighting the spot where he's editing. I'm gonna go back to the other computer and do some edits. Watch this. CU Buff's my personal account just made two cows instead of one. Double the fun. So now we're back over here on the CU Buff's personal computer. And you can clearly see that the other account, Patrick, is also editing. You can see that it's highlighted in green, letting me know what area he's editing. Watch this. Now we got three cows. The whole point of this really is showcasing the new collaboration mode when it comes to Office 365 documents inside of a Zoom meeting. I've literally shared this Office 365 PowerPoint slide with another user and granted them access to this slide. Let's take a look at OneDrive and see what really happened. So from the slide itself, we're gonna go up here and go to share. We're gonna manage access. What happened was when we shared that slide, we granted access to the participants in the meeting by their email address. I obviously know the participant because he joined the meeting. I gave him editing rights to the document automatically in the collaboration mode. You can clearly see it right here. And it also tells me it's an external user. So now you have not only OneDrive integration with Zoom and SharePoint integration with Zoom, you now have Office 365 integration with a Zoom meeting, allowing you as a Zoom user to not only share your screen or an application during a presentation, but you can now share a document and grant full editing rights to the participants in the meeting, allowing great co-authoring, co-editing, and brainstorming live. You don't have to wait anymore to send the file or send the Office 365 application in an email or chat. You can literally do it live during a Zoom meeting. Incredible. Zoom continues to innovate in the space of Microsoft and Zoom coexistence. You can clearly see the use case for this scenario for any user using Zoom and Office 365 productivity tools like PowerPoint or, or Word or Excel. It works with all of them. So try collaboration mode in Zoom on your next meeting. I bet you'll love it as much as I do. And make a whole bunch of cows. If you like videos like this, please follow me on LinkedIn or YouTube. I'm the Tattoo Nerd, Patrick Kelly. Talk to you later.